What is going on, guys? I am Crimson Seabad. We have another Oris Wi Fi battle today. We are going up against Jamie. We are in the RU tier. So, all I gotta ask is, are you ready? Anyways, if you ever want a chance to battle me, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Follow Jamie on Twitter as well. He's a really great battler. He's always bringing new teams. And we are gonna go on ahead and hop right on into this. And I'm gonna take a picture of his team so I don't get caught off guard. Let's see what he's bringing. Okay, so he's got the Cresselia, he's got Tyrantrum, he's got Jellicent, he's got Audino, he's got Moltres, and he has Pangoro. Now, first thing I see is that Tyrantrum's gonna come through and try and put up rocks. Tyrantrum's gonna come through and try and put up rocks, so I'm actually gonna lead off with LOL, my bad, our Mega Glalie. I'm going to lead off with LOL My Bad and the Mega Glalie because a Mega Evolved return is going to hurt this thing. We're going to set up that nice sub. We are going to go for a Mega Evolved return, that Refrigerate return. And we're just going to start putting in the finest. He is taking his time thinking about what he wants to lead off with. Because I could lead off with my Cobalt as well. I could lead off with my Tyrantrum. So, if you haven't yet, poke that like button because we are shooting for 10 likes on all these Oris Wi-Fi battles. You guys keep coming through. I love the support. I love that you guys keep coming through. Keep doing that. We're going to keep up with uh, Double Daily Uploads. So he actually leads off with Pontiac. He reads me like a book. He reads me like a book. And unfortunately, I carry Earthquake, not Rock Slide. So I'm going to switch out into something that wants to fight this thing, and I'm going to switch out into Cobalt now. I'm going to go right on out into Cobalt, which is what I should have done to begin with, because he predicted me to predict the Tyrantrum. So Cobalt's going to come through, and this Moltres is just going to go for a Flamethrower. We resist that twice, and we eat it up. Eat that up. Now, I don't... Moltres doesn't have any sort of switch... So he's about to take, whatever's coming in is about to take a stab stone edge. Whatever's coming in is about to eat this stone edge. And my guess, if he doesn't stay in, uh, he'd probably switch into Pangoro, more than likely. Because Pangoro does have that rock resistance. Um, he could think I'm just going to take a turn to set up the rocks. So he might just try and get whatever damage he can off on me. But if I were him, I would go into the Pangoro. Let's see what he does. He's going to go out into Stella. Stella is going to be the Cresselia. Cresselia is going to take the Stone Edge and eat it up. Eat it up. Uh, Cresselia carries the Ice Beam. That's not something I want to deal with. So I'm going to go out into our Apprentice. No, wait, what do I want to do here? I've got a huge poison weakness. We're going to switch out to Dr. Zoiberg. Dr. Zoiberg's Assault Vested. Dr. Zoiberg carries that Dark Pulse, that Young Dark Pulse. Going to come through. Moonblast. Ooh, either way. What was he predicting, I wonder? He's probably thinking I was just going to stay in him. We eat that up thanks to that Assault Vest. We're going to get this Mega Launch Dark Pulse off. Goes for the T-Wave. Oh... I hate, hate being paralyzed. Because it's the one thing I can't count on, and he avoids the Dark Pulse. So we're just going to go for a Water Pulse here, knowing he knows I carry the Dark Pulse. He might switch around, so something can take that Dark Pulse. So we're going to see. My hair is all sorts of weird today. I need a haircut. A haircut and a beard trim. So he does withdraw. Um, probably going to go out into the Pangoro, Pandaren. So Pandaren's about to take this Water Pulse. There it comes through. We do connect it. Do we get the confusion? Do we get the confusion, I wonder? We get the confusion, and we do a butt-ton of damage. Um, I'm just going to go straight up for a Dragon Pulse here. In case he decides to switch out. Pandaren's probably about to come through the Drain Punch or a Knock Off. Knock Off's going to get that, um, that Assault Vest off. And Drain Punch is going to bring his HP back. He hurts himself in confusion either way, so as long as we're not Parahex, we get this Dragon Pulse off, 
There we go. Down goes Pandarin. So we do have the first knockout of the match right here with Pandarin. <clears throat> and honestly, Pandarin was a huge threat to me. Pandarin was a huge threat because you guys have seen my Pangoro. And Pangoro just can destroy. You get a choice banded Iron Fisted Pangoro on the field, it's no joke. It is no joke. So now if I were him, he's going to go on to Yuna. All right. Yuna's the Audino. And I'm pretty sure we discovered last time Audino was Fairy type, so we're going to go for this fighting. We're going to go for an Aura Sphere. Unless he Mega Evolves? Highly possible. It is highly possible he Mega Evolves. I have never faced a Mega... Yep. Yep. Mega Audino comes through. Normal Fairy, I think. And he's just going to set up a wish. He's going to set up a wish, see what I want to do. And we're going to go for this Aura Sphere. Oh, he eats that up. That's not fair. All right, we're just going for Water Pulses now. We're going for Water Pulses. This wish is going to come through. He Calm Minds. Shit. We need to take this thing down. We need to take this thing down. Dr. Zoidberg's paralyzed. That wish is going to come through. He's probably going to set up another Calm Mind. So at this point, I want to switch out. And I want to switch out into Dark Knight. I want to switch out into Dark Knight. Hopefully Beta Switch. Because he might think I carry like the Cross Poison or something. Dazzling Gleam. Eat that up. Eat it up. Um, I'm just going to go for a Toxic here. Because he has no resistances to it. He has nothing, or immune to it, I should say. He's got nothing that's immune to the toxic. And if this thing is going to keep setting up Calm Minds, we want to get some residual damage off. We definitely need to get that taken care of. Uh, now the question is, is he going to want to switch into something to take this toxic? Because nobody, I was about to say, nobody likes losing their Mega. Uh, and he's going to go out into Diva. Diva's going to be that Jellicent. We're going to get this Toxic off. Um, if Cursed Body comes through and disables my Toxic, I'm not too worried about it. So now, he knows... Oh! That Super Fang. Young Fang. He knows I've got that Super Fang. So I'm going to go back out into Dr. Zoidberg carrying that Assault Vest. Because if the Willow comes through then we're good, because we're already paralyzed. Goes for that Willow, but it failed. So we see he does carry the leftovers, which is good to know. Now, he knows I've got Dark Pulse, he knows I've got Water Pulse, he knows I've got Dragon Sphere. We've shown our entire moveset to this guy. And nothing on his team... We're going to go for a Dark Pulse here. Nothing on his side wants to do it. He could just go for a Hex. If he carries the Hex now that I am paralyzed, that could be huge for him. Um, we'll still take it well because we do have that Assault Vest on. So he's going to withdraw Diva and he's going to go back out into Yuna. And Yuna's going to take this Dark Sphere. Dark Sphere. Dark Pulse. Excuse me. So now we're just going to start going for... Um, mm, mm -hmm. I'm going to actually switch out to Apprentice. I want to give Apprentice some screen time because I want this I want this thing gone. I hate walls. I hate being walled. So he goes for the heal bell. The Jellicent is now uh, not poisoned anymore, which is unfortunate. Um, we are going to go straight up for this Iron Head. We're going to go straight for this Iron Head. He's going to switch out into something that resists that. Which, in my mind, is the Tyrantrum. He just goes for a wish, so he's pretty confident he can take this Iron Head. We'll see how well he takes this Iron Head. Takes it very well, actually. Um, maybe we can get a Shadow Sneak off? No, Normal Fairy. That's right, we discovered that. Sets up a Calm Mind, so we could have gotten that other Iron Head off, and that... Mm, 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 mm. The plays. The plays we could have made, but we did not. So, at this point, yep, that wish comes through. 
Let's just go for a Toxic. Goes for a Dazzling Gleam. That's not going to hurt at all. Not going to hurt at all. So we're going to get this Toxic up. And now we pretty much force a Heal Bell or a Wish at this point. And we can just go for an Iron Head. Just going for an Iron Head. See what he wants to do. He's going to withdraw Yuna. Okay. So he's going to withdraw. Probably go out into Rex. Rex is the Tyrantrum. Young Iron Head's about to come through. That does a lot of damage. That does a lot more than I thought it would. Alright. Uh, if we outspeed, we can go for an Iron, than Iron Head. We should be able to take whatever he's got coming our way. We should... Can we... we it's not Stab. We're pretty bulky. We take that Earthquake to the bank. Ironhead's going to come through and down Rex is going to go. Rex is going to go down to the Iron Head. So now we've got two big threats out of the way. Uh, we got both physical attackers out of the way. We've got no possibility for hazards on his side now. Um, Moltres could carry the Defog for rocks. And he's not going to want to go out into the... He's going to go out into Pontiac the Moltres. Okay. Pontiac probably outspeeds us, but we carry the Rock Slide. So let's see. He U-turns out. I did not... Okay. I forgot. I guess the Legendaries get U-turned. He's going to U-turn out. He's got Audino, he's got Jellison, he's got Moltres and Cresselia. Goes out in a D.Va. We're going to get this Rock Slide off. See how much that does. You're a bulky bulkster. Okay. Now I feel a Willow coming my way. I feel a Willow coming my way, and that's not good. Um, so we could go out in a Pumba. But I want to get the Shadow Sneak off. I want to get the Shadow Sneak off to see how much it does. I know Ghost is go good against Ghost. And I know he's going to take it. Isn't that unfortunate? Isn't that unfortunate? Mm. So we're burned and we have no priority. This is awesome. Curse I hate Curse Body. Uh, we're going to come through with an Iron Head. Recover. God, I hate Jellison. So we've seen Recover. We've seen the Willow. And we haven't seen Hex yet. He could carry Scald. Um, I'm just going to set up a Toxic. There's the Scald. There's the Scald coming through. How well do we take that? We don't take it at all. So Apprentice is going to go down. Fortunately, we did lose Apprentice. Um, what do we want to go into here? We're going to switch into Dr. Zoidberg. A Dr. Zoidberg's really our only chance of taking these things down because he's our only real special attacker. Um, and we're going to go for a Water Pulse. Because he's going to predict the Dark Pulse and switch. We could get some confusion off if he stays in. But it is Stab, it is Mega Launcher boosted, so let's see what he wants to do. He does withdraw Diva, so whatever's coming in is not going to want to take a Stab Water Pulse. Goes out into Stella. Okay. Stella's about to take this Water Pulse to the bank. Stella's probably going to Moonlight after this. So let's see. Do we get Confusion? We do not get Confusion. We're going to go for another Water Pulse. Because Stella, Stella's honestly Moonlighting here. He withdraws Stella. So he's going to double back out into Yuna. And Yuna's going to take this Water Pulse and get the Poison Damage. Poison damage comes through. 
Uh, Yuna carries the... What did Yuna carry? Moonlight? Wish. Yuna carries the Wish. So if we land this Water Pulse, Toxic Damage should be enough to take this thing out. Oh! Parahex! Why? Why are you such a bastard, Parahex? Okay. So the Wish is here. Heal Bell. A Bell Chime. So he's going to get that Poison Damage off. Water Pulse, please take this thing out. Come on. Mega Launcher Water Pulse. Oh, Parahex! Why? Oh! I'm so annoyed right now. I'm so annoyed right now. switch out Nora Mega. We need to start putting in some work because the these walls are really becoming an annoyance to me. He's gonna just set up another Calm Mind. Uh, we're gonna Mega Evolve and pop behind the sub real quick. Actually, you know what? Let's Mega Evolve. Let's go for this, um... Let's go for this return. Let's Mega Evolve go for a refrigerated return. See how much this wants to do. Do we outspeed? We do outspeed. Come on, return. Come through. Refrigerate return. Goes for a Dazzling Gleam. He's plus two. Okay, so we do live that. Return's gonna come through again. Come on, kill this thing. Okay. Okay, we've got a wall down. We've got a wall down. And now he's going to go out into probably Pontiac. I'm going to switch out to Cobalt. I want to get the rocks up. I know it's a little late in the game to get rocks up, but with all this switching he's trying to do and with the U-turning... I want to get these rocks up really quick. Hidden power. What do you? What hidden power do you carry? Okay, nothing that hurts me badly. So we're just gonna take a turn and set up these rocks, because he is gonna hard switch out. <laughs> He's gonna. He should hard switch out. He outspeeds, so he could go for a U-turn unless he's choice scarfed. He could be choice specs, because that was a neutral hidden power that did a lot to me. So he's going to go out into D.Va. We're going to get these rocks up. D.Va's probably just going to go for a Willow. So we're going to switch out and go into our Embor. That's a risky play. However, I don't like this thing. The riskiest of plays are about to come through. Pumbaa's about to come through. And I'm pretty sure that we can do some damage to this thing. Because we're choice banded, we're reckless. Goes for the Willow, just like I predicted. So we can go for... We can go for a Head Smash. We can go for a... Head smash. Head smash is our best bet. So we're going to choice ourselves in a head smash because that does damage to this. We can take a skull. Come on, Pumbaa. Take this skull. Take this skull to the bank, Pumbaa. There you go. There you go, Pumbaa. We get this head smash off. Choice banded, reckless head smash. Let's see how much this does. It does enough to take down the diva. Thank you. Thank you, Pumbaa. We're going to take a lot of recoil damage to that. So unfortunately, Pumbaa goes down in the process. Ah! We can't catch any breaks, guys. We can't catch any breaks. Um, seeing what he has left, he has Moltres. He has Moltres and he has Cresselia left. So I'm going to go out into Cobalt. 
Pontiac's gonna take these nice rocks. I thought I got rocks up. Did I not get rocks up? There we go. I was about to say. Let's say. So we've got a choice scarf Moltres going into a Cresselia. And whichever comes in is gonna take the something's gonna take these rocks. Something's about to eat this stone edge real quick. You turns out back into the Cresselia. Okay. I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. He's only got the Cresselia to go into, so this is Okay. If we connect the stone edge, this should kill. If we connect the stone edge, we do connect the stone edge. Stella's not gonna take this stone edge. Stella's not taking it. I don't care how big and bulky you are, Cresselia. You're not taking the stone edge. You about to catch this work. So now when Moltres comes in, if the HP is odd, he'll live. If it's an even amount of HP, it's an odd amount of HP. So he lives on one. He lives on one. Now it's... Let me go for a Dragon Claw here. Hurricane! Why didn't you start with Hurricanes? Why didn't you start with Hurricanes? Because if I hurt myself with Confusion... Okay. Okay. I'm not even going to sweat it. You know what? He's got one HP left. I'm going to go for a Fire Fang. I'm just going to go for a Fire Fang because I can. We missed the Hurricane. Do we break through? Okay. Get this Fire Fang off. He... Why? Why do you do this? Why? So he's choice in a hurricane, obviously. I I've got I've got no idea what to tell you guys. I've got no idea what to tell you guys. Um We're just gonna go out and LOL my bad. We're gonna go on LOL, my bad. The hurricane does connect. Do we take that? We don't take. Is this thing about to really sweep me? No. No, absolutely no way. Absolutely no way in hell. We've got an assault vest. We've got an assault vest at Doctor's Logger. We're gonna take this hurricane. We're gonna take this hurricane. We connect the water pulse. Thank you. Jesus Christ. All right. Jamie, that was a good game. You kind of started coming back with this Moltres and you had me scared. So with that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke. We've got weekly giveaways. We've got double daily uploads. So follow me on Twitter. Shout out Jamie on Twitter. With that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I've been Crimson Seabed. I will talk to you guys soon. Later.